I don't know that there are 10 people around the country that are pushing for Hillary Clinton to enter this Democratic primary. But if there are, they used to work for Hillary Clinton. Because there is more and more talk going around about the possibility that she could run. Tucker Carlson had on one of her former advisors and here's what happened. I'm assuming what I just said and what we're hearing is true, that if she thought she was the best position to beat Donald Trump, she'd get in the race. She's not. I would take issue with the Macedonia part, but other than that, I, you know, she ran for president because she thought she would be the best right. president. If she, she still thought that now, if she thought she had the best odds of beating Donald Trump, yep. I think she would think about it long and hard. Yeah, I know so she's not. She, she hasn't foreclosed the possibility. I guess no, that's she what has I, not. That's what I'm saying. Too. She's not running because she has any anxiety about the democratic right? field. She really likes a lot of the people running. She knows them well. She thought about some of them for her vice presidency, but. There might be a reason that she'd be the best person, not only to beat Donald Trump, but to govern after Donald Trump, which is a part we don't talk about much. She denounced Bernie Sanders' Medicare for all proposal as a terrible conversation to have. She's like completely against it. The lady knows her health care. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's, there's two things that are kind of ridiculous. One is that that guy thinks that there is a case to be made that she is the best to go against Trump. There's a case to be made she's literally the worst person in the entire country because she's the only person who's run for president against Donald Trump and lost. So, but secondly, that she might be uniquely positioned to govern after him as like a bridge to the other side that they so. would accept her after losing <laughs> Trump. I, I mean, obviously, I think that we have to like take this entire conversation with a grain of salt. This is exactly the conversation that Tucker Carlson and his right wing followers want Democrats to be having. Mm -hmm. This is the conversation he wants progressives to be having. This is the conversation that does not matter. Having someone like that on his show is just, it's kicking the hornet's nest of, of what we all know is a horrible idea, which is Hillary Clinton getting into this race. Yeah. So like, I feel like we need to not take the bait around this um, because, Unless you're like, you know, Tulsi Gabbard, nobody wants Clinton to run. And the fact that Tulsi is trying to bait Clinton into running, and Tulsi Gabbard has also appeared on Fox News this week, basically parroting Republican talking points, should give us all pause to know what is actually actually happening here. So I want to double down on both of what what both of you said, and then add one thing, which is. Why is he going on Tucker Carlson to make this point? Right. That that right there gives you enough of a sense of where Hillary Clinton's politics lies. Yeah. Like, oh, I think there's a lane in the Democratic Party uh, to get the Tucker Carlson viewers. What? Okay, all right. Uh, gee, I wonder how she lost the last time around. And Tucker Carlson, of course, wants to encourage this for two different reasons. And he says in the middle of the interview that we didn't show you, he said a lot of Democrats say, well, Hillary Clinton is a real president. It was stolen from her. That does Tucker Carlson believe that? No, no, he says that like, oh yeah, I want Hillary to get come in. One, to uh, Francesca's point, to make it a mess. But two, it's their dream scenario that they run against Hillary Clinton again. Yep. Tucker Carlson is thinking, we can't get this lucky, can we? Yeah. Oh, this schmuck that's her advisor wants to come on and talk about how she's gonna run again. That's pretty much the only person we could possibly beat. Yes, yes, please. Oh, you know, it was kind of stolen from her. I mean, that's what some Democrats were saying. She should yeah. be the real president. The I mean, this is hilarious. The fact that they're not laughing in his face and in her face now in Washington shows you how pathetic they are. Yeah. And so that leads me to the final point. Um, they say that with a straight face, but it's in, we laugh at it, but in Washington, they take it completely seriously. When he says, well, look, she, she's not saying anything other than she, she might have to come in because she has the best chance of beating Donald Trump. Now, empirically, that is a maniacal thing to say, <laughs> right? <laughs> but in Washington, the reason they say that and why they think it might be a persuasive case is what's left unsaid. In other words, well, obviously can't be Warren or Sanders. They would lose to Trump because they're not a good centrist candidate like Hillary Clinton who would beat Trump. Yeah. But they really believe it. They really believe it. They're like, we can, I mean, we cannot risk losing to Donald Trump with a progressive. So we got to go with someone who lost to Donald Trump. Yeah. And they don't think that's funny. That's how biased they are. They live on a different planet where Hillary Clinton is the best candidate, not the worst candidate to run against Donald Trump. The only way I would support Hillary Clinton coming back into this race is if, like the mountain, after death, she gets 
resuscitated. Game of Thrones reference. <laughs> I got that. Resuscitated and comes back as whatever that is. I'm not fully through the series. Sister Justice. <laughs> Sister Justice. Yes. No. I don't think that's gonna happen. No, but look, guys, I don't even mind Hillary coming in because she's gonna take votes away from Biden and make a mess of the establishment. Probably, yeah. And and it's gonna make progressives winning much easier. They don't understand politics. That's why they got clowned by a clown. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so the water's warm. Hillary and all of her dumbass staffers who lost to Donald Trump, come on in. Let's see how you do this time. Yeah. I got a whooping stick waiting for you. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.